Everyone's playing Parallel TCG Beta, but you can't because you have a Mac. Well, this is a guide for you. Parallel TCG Beta currently supports Windows, but we will be trying to run it on a Mac using an emulator called Crossover. You can download this emulator for free from codeviewers.com and try it for 15 days. Once Crossover is downloaded and installed, we will use it to run the Parallel TCG installer, which can be downloaded from the official site if you have access. Inside Crossover, click on Install and then edit to select the downloaded installer file, probably located in your downloads folder. Now click on the second edit button to give your bottle or wrapper a name. We can call it Parallel Launcher. Now click on install and the emulator will run the file prompting you with the typical installer experience. You can actually run the launcher once it's installed but it'll fail to download the game. To fix this, you now have to run the install launcher the same way we ran the original installer in a new wrapper or bottle in Crossover. This step can be tricky because the launcher is inside a typically hidden directory, so you'll need to unhide the library folder on your Mac. You can do this by running terminal and typing chflags space no hidden space tilde slash library. Press enter. Now go back to crossover and click on install to start a new installation. This time, click on edit and go to library folder for your username on the Mac. Here, look for application support, then crossover, then bottles, then the name of the bottle from the launcher install, then drive underscore C, program files, Parallel, Parallel Launcher, and then the Launcher Executable. Once you select this, Crossover will run the launcher and you can log in with your Parallel account details. This time around, the launcher should start downloading the game files normally. Once the game files are fully downloaded, you can run the game by clicking on the launcher icon within the original bottle or wrapper you created. Now you can play the game normally, and in my testing, I ran into no real issues. The game runs and performs as expected. In fact, the performance using Crossover Emulator was far better than that of Parallels desktop software. Powerless in violence. Overwhelming. Isn't it? The pipe stands before a blade. The tide rises. A lovely day, no?